Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. As some of you may know, I um, grew up in a British seaside town and I was feeling nostalgic recently, so I thought I would build a pleasure pier. Pleasure piers in the UK were mostly built during the Victorian era. A few were earlier, but with the advent of rail travel becoming cheap and popular it meant that the working classes could get on a train and go to the beach for the day or for a weekend or week. So it's sort of based on on that idea. Now obviously I am building in normal mode so I'm not on a custom world well technically I am on a custom world but this was built in on my private server. We are, as you can probably see, near New Gad. I'll show you on the map. We are a bit further down than where I normally build. Piers had um, a long boardwalk. Unfortunately, this is about as long as I can get with the budget. So, for promenading. If you don't know what that means, it means walking up and down. <laughs> they would have amusements, bandstands, cafes, places to get food. And I tried to cover all of these in here. Um, a lot became pretty much arcades in the 1970s, which is sort of places with slot machines and vending machines. And quite a few have burnt down, but some have been restored, and there are quite a few good examples, like Brighton Pier, which has um, saved the Victorian architecture. Or well, actually, I think that one was built in the Georgian period. So I tried, tried to incorporate all of those things into this build. Um, there is a faux roof up there because I have put lots of uh, coloured lights up in the top so that it's uh, quite decorative at night. It wouldn't be a Lucy camp without a full workshop and somewhere to lay your head. So if you have a look down here, you will see there is a hidden caretaker apartment. Obviously only accessible at low tide. <laughs> I made a little bit of a boo-boo here and I forgot to put a door in before I replaced the floors. So I have put a curtain up but I will show you how to put a door in here. I couldn't actually attach these curtains to a window. They just went up. They're backwards, but it works. So as you can see, I use pillars to create the structure, the support for the structure, um, and I will show you how to do this. So I hope you like the build. It's something a bit different. Um, and now I will show you how to build it. So I've cleared the area and I'm now going to put my camp widget down. We want just a little bit of the road. It's quite difficult. You will have to uh, maybe do it one or two times, maybe more. I just want as much space down here as I can get. That should do. Right, we're going to start with foundations. Foundations. 
going to line them up with the road. And it's going to be too wide. I think we need to come this way a little bit. And we're going to put four of these down. Now to get the uh, bit at the bottom, it's actually, there are different ways of doing it. I tried different ways. Um, I'm actually going to just move a foundation down there by the stepping process. I was able sometimes to um, no, no. attach it to the pillars, but not every time. It was being tricky. Oop, I thought that was a live one for a minute. Still a bit high. So we're just going to leave that down there for now. To get the floating pier, we are going to need to attach a ladder. And we are going to put a ladder there, remove that floor. Now, anything you add after this point will be stuck. So be very careful. We're just going to do one row first, or one column. And there will be five of these. As you can see, I'm pretty much maxed out on budget, so... Five is our limit. Now, I want posts in the middle which is why I'm doing this a row at a time because normally if I was going to fit posts on I'd use one of these but if I put this down it will get stuck you can try and use the mat trick but or the conduit trick which is an Aquanova thing but there may be it's not going to fit one would be too too low and two is too high. So the way I snapped the pillars on was by using these. Catwalks, I used the corner piece, snap two on like that and the middle of this one is at the gap between these two floors. And we'll snap that on and that one on there. So just go along. You can also, I think, do the corner. Like so. Go along and do both sides. 
So you should have something that looks like this. So we're going to put another row of floors on. And then attach the pillars again. If you do make a mistake, the pillars will come off. So, and apparently you can, as long as you get the first one that you put down, which this one's attached to, you can pick both of them up and move them along, I've found out. <laughs> uh, that one might need another. Make sure they are all touching the ground. I think on my, the one that I showed you, I was a little bit further back from the road, so it made it seem further out. But we still have the um, building floor to put down. That is basically six tiles. Again, be very careful when placing these. because you cannot get them off. <laughs> so that is our footprint for the building. You are going to want to go around and put more pillars on. <laughs> I'm actually going to take this off here so it doesn't interfere with me removing this foundation for now. Right. We are going to be double walling this. Where the doorways are is quite easy. You can use any set you like. The problem lies here. We haven't got a double wall underneath it and we can't put a floor down so if you haven't seen this before i do do it quite frequently put a door in convert the doorway to a solid wall and remove it get another doorway place it backwards doors have two snapping points so you now have a doorway the wrong way round and you can snap a regular doorway onto the floor. What I would suggest you do is save you a little bit of time, go all the way round with your doorways, try not to fall off. Then as you go round, rather than putting the door away, you can actually just move it to the next doorway. It saves you having to tab through every time. so it should look something like this so to stop me from falling off I'm going to turn these into solid doorways and I'm converting these into the contemporary windows. I 
I used these um, robes. I think these come from the Mistress of Mysteries set. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you. It just says roof, which is very, very inconvenient. And I'm going to use the corner pieces. Can we find them? There we go. Here and here. I'm going to use contemporary windows at the top for the dormer. There's the right way round. I can't see. Yep, I think so. Right, we're going to do a bit of double walling. I used, if ever, people have asked what are these pieces for in the past, this is what these pieces are for here. I didn't actually double wall these, I thought it was just too much hassle to be honest because they're barely visible. And these actually need to be regular walls so you have that and we need triangular pieces and if you've ever double wall triangular pieces in this game you know that the first one the two flame a trap has to be brick or metal. You can change it afterwards. Let's see. I appreciate that these ones are inside out. These ones have to go this way because this is the way they attach to the roof, but these ones are the other way around. So just make a note of that. Now, we can double wall up here once we've flame trapped all this because there is a double wall underneath. There isn't here. So I would suggest that you put a temporary wall here and double wall it. It is the easiest way of doing this. We will be able to take it off afterwards when the roofs are on. Right, I've relogged and I've realised that these should be glass doorways. <laughs> I th kept thinking, why have I got two glass walls? That's why. <laughs> You should all now have the glass set. If you haven't, then, yeah, well, hard luck now. Right. We need two half walls. I'm trying to make sure they're the right, same way as the ones above. Come on. Oh. This is not a double wall, it should be. Right. Oh, we'll use a red one. There we go. So this should look like this, and this is just support so that we can double wall above. So, these two, or four half walls, and these up here we will be flamer trapping you could if you wanted 
temporarily put roofs on if you don't want to do it with the stacking stuff up route. Um, we will be putting a roof on up here in a minute. I have to take that. Oh, can't take that one off because of the right. And then just jump up here, put the roof in again. Come on. Get a stash box. And your trusty flamer trap. And get flamer trapping. Going to store this. I am going to take these roofs off and I am going to move that roof up because it'll help us do the top. I am going to put this in now on this one so that there is actually a double wall under here so that when we come to do the top it will work I hope right blame a trap These are actually the toughest walls in the game. So if you want to build a camp in the cranberry bog, I would suggest you use the brick. It is by far the toughest. Right, we are now going to double wall the top. Although I think we are going to have to double wall this bit first. Can't see through all the roofs. Let's take these down for a minute. Right. Uh, I think that one. It's the wrong way round. <laughs> Right, this one was facing outwards, so it needs to be inwards. Inwards. A double uh, triangular wall you do not need for the second piece to be brick so it's probably going to be easier if you just go to your camp widget at this point and repair all <laughs> and then try and uh, sort yourself out now obviously this needs to be a window this needs to be a window I think the back's okay um whoops 
balanced precariously on the top of here. I'm just trying to change the brick ones to the contemporary set so that all of the trim matches. So you should have something that looks like this. We are going to put sloped roofs on the top, like so. We are going to take these down now. We do not need them. But we will make use of them for the downstairs. And I am going to put a faux roof here. So that we can get a generator up there for the lights. Just realised my, my roofs have all got chimneys. There are quite a few options on this one and I've got I've got an extra one for some reason. So make sure you select the right roof. If you want a chimney, have a chimney. That's fine. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Go around and obviously make all your walls the suitable type. I just used the white wallpaper on the outside. And I used this blue stripe on the inside. Can be a bit difficult to um, do up there. I would suggest you uh, put an extra roof out and stand on that if you can these roofs will come off if you want to put a generator up there and the lights I put a string of yellow and blue on the ridge and then a red and white and on either side but the roofs will come off easily and go back on easily, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. I used the the kind of uh, metal railings for the edges here. There we go. For some reason it seems to be easier to put them down this way, although this one is being a pain. If you have a problem, you could always take a pillar off. As long as you've got the bottom one on, you'll be able to get it back on. Possibly the wall. Take the wallpaper off. If you can. <laughs> there we go. You may not be aware, but wallpaper makes walls thicker. Obviously, we've still got this ladder here. There's not really much you can do about that. Um, the railings did go over it when I did it on mine. Right. I have a problem here. I don't know why. This is the trouble with you things. You can never build the same thing twice. All of these railings snap to the ones that are snapped to foundations. Now I can't get this one on. So what I would suggest you do is you start the other end and you manually line this one up. And then they will snap to each other. I'm just checking the... Right. There 
And because they're not snapped below, if it will work, come here, you little. There we go. No, <laughs> it's trying to snap to. There we go. If it bothers you and you want them the same height, you can do the other side the same. There is usually a workaround. <laughs> Just would be useful if things were consistent, especially when you're doing a build video. Right, to do the underneath. We are going to take our foundation and add a ladder. And we are going to put floors up. I did replace these with roofs. You could do it as a floating camp if you wanted. Have a look at my tree house if you are not sure what I mean by that. And we are going to put some walls up. And we are going to double wall, but because this is currently attached to a stair, we can attach another floor to double wall it. So we need a double wall where the front door goes and a double wall where the bathroom goes. Now I will tell you now that the problem I had with the doorways was because I added the doorways after I took the floors off so if you want a door in your bedroom now is the time to add it whichever you want I'm trying to find it's a door that looks like I used for the front door I used the um, this one so we could just do that again So to double wall these, we are just going to put a floor behind. And we are going to want to double wall with half walls along the front. Right, we need to flame a trap this. And try not to fall out the back. Just gonna change these to walls so I do not fall on my backside. <laughs> right. Double wall that. Uh, flame a trap that so we can double wall it and here could have left the floor up make sure you get the wall the right way around I will need to turn these back into doorways temporarily so we can take the floors off. Now the reason it won't let me is because of the half wall. So if we flame it, oh and also this is, no. 
we are going to flame a trap this half wall. I mean, if you don't mind having a foundation here that's supporting these walls, then just do this. You just need to add glass at the top, but I wanted the ladder to go all the way to the ground. Now we can take that off. I have been working very di diligently on my ESO versus 76 video. And I'm about a third of the way through. <laughs> This is the fourth time I've started it. It's a sort of different style of video for me because it is um, lots and lots of clips that are all edited together and narrated. And to be honest, it just it took it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would. So I thought I'd give you a build. I will be doing more No Man's Sky stuff. I kind of feel that 76 is a bit dead for me. Um, we've been saying it for a long time and to new players coming in, yeah, it's a great game until you've played it every day for three and a half years. I will still be building in 76, I will be doing the next season, but I will be playing other games because I don't want to get to a situation where 76 is sunsetted and I have no channel because I can't produce work anymore. I like doing videos so I am going to do videos in other games as well. To get the roofs on we're going to need another foundation. Stick that here, stick a wall up. And then you can attach a roof and then just go along. The roofs will attach to each other. To get this one off, we are just going to change it into a uppy one. We can now remove this wall, make it a downy one. Swap all the walls out into uh, full walls. Apart from obviously the doorways, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get in the bedroom. We need to repair both sides of this. You can just run up to your camp widget. Put glass windows. I don't care which one you, you attach it to, whether it's the innie or the outie, just try and make it consistent. I think... can't tell. <laughs> so there you have your little cottage. We want to get rid of this foundation. Well, I do. You may not care. Put another ladder down. Take this ladder off because it's not attached. Because these are roofs now. Take that one off. You will find that you can't remove that. Let's just try. There we go. Put another foundation next to it. You can remove it like that. Add another ladder. I don't think I need to show you how to wallpaper the inside of this. I did carry on the railings and like upstairs, I just manually placed them. I'm just going to make sure, because I had a problem with this. Make sure now that all of your Pillars are all the way to the ground. 
you might have to take this pillar off as long as this one's on here you should be able to get it back on and um, just come on you little pain sometimes it's easier just to place something up there so you can get close enough I know you can pull stuff towards you but let's shut the door let's shut the door it doesn't always work consistently or with much control so I'm just going to place this uh. yep same problem yeah so when I was building this I actually took those off when I didn't have pillars underneath and then I couldn't get the pillars back on well I could but it just meant having to take walls down and things Pillar. Pillar. Obviously, this was all white, like the top. So, there you have it, pretty much. If your foundations aren't low enough, you might want to put steps on the side, on the front. Um, assuming they'll go in I am very close to the build yep I am, there we go but they went in change up the floors to whatever you want I have absolutely no idea why these railings would not go on when they went on without a problem <laughs> on um, when I built it I mean it just wasn't an issue so but you can manually place them as I said I would start this end because they will snap to foundations that is all for me today I am going to persevere with my um, with my Fallout 76 versus ESO video I have no idea how long it's going to take me to get it all done I have some quite complicated bits coming up I have a build in No Man's Sky that I got 650 upvotes for on Reddit so I'd like to do a video of that plus another No Man's Sky build plus another No Man's Sky build plus an ESO build I still have a couple of 76 things um, coming up so I will be busy and I will be around that's all from me today I hope you like the build thank you for watching